What's up YouTube? Aaron back again with another domination video, this time on EVAC. Um, Black Ops 3 of course, because that's all I've been posting lately. Um, today, we got a little topic about presidential elections. Because, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know much about any of the candidates. And I know I'm like old enough to vote, I have been for a while, and I should vote. But, like, I don't want to vote just to vote. And even if I, like, I don't know enough about any of the candidates to feel right about voting for any of them. And I know, like, oh, you know, my vote, I could be the one that votes that counts, even though it goes to an electoral college, so they could vote either way. But even if my vote was the one, I don't know enough to feel right about voting in for any candidate. So why why should I feel, I know it sounds bad, like, you know, I should vote, I should know, get to know with candidates and stuff, but from what I've heard about any of the candidates, I don't really like any of them. Even though there's people in my fraternity, are, they get in huge arguments with people, and I guess, not arguments, debates, because that's what, when it's talking about presidents, it's debates, it's not arguments. Yeah, right. Uh, the, but, like, they'll, they think that they're right. That's the problem with I think with uh, this presidential debate and stuff is everyone thinks they're they're right 100% and they don't like to even if they act like they're listening to some topics they don't really pay attention to it because they feel like their side is just right no matter what like you can't say anything to them and like I, I like to be open to I, I, there's some things that I feel like right about like if I like certain things that someone says I'm like no like it's this way like you can't say it but not there's some topics that it's just not like that like you can't be with opinion like you have to be able to listen to other people's opinions and that's one thing that kind of aggravates me when it becomes election season um it's because no one listens to anyone else their opinions or anything it's just oh this guy says stuff that i agree with so it, it's right uh, and if anyone else is like no i think that it should be this way they're like, nope you're wrong it's this and you don't know that like have you ever ran a country, or have you tried the other thing they're talking about? No, you haven't. You just because that's the way that you do it. It's the right way. Like that's, I don't know that. I just don't like it. I don't like the presidential election season. I don't really like any of the candidates. I mean, if I had, if they like forced me to vote for someone just because I don't really like Trump that much, and I don't like Hillary that much, I'd probably vote for Bernie. But it's not just it's it's not based on anything other than just like personality wise and that's not how you should vote so i unless i magically learn crap ton more about it i'm probably not gonna vote and that sounds terrible i mean it's un-american right i i guess it's un-american not see that no damage what kind of bs is that if it's un-american not to want to vote for someone you don't know about then i guess I, no i'm not an american it's my opinion that i'm american and that's not, not, not un-American. So, put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> um, but I guess we're we're gonna we're gonna get away from that because you know, last last month it was my birthday, and I know it's it's a month ago, but I just want to talk about it because it's probably the best birthday ever. Like the day is the best because you know, it's a pie day. Albert Einstein's birthday, Steph Curry's birthday, you know, March 14th. It's probably the best birthday there is because, you know, it's my birthday. And that's 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 why all the other people, like, it matters to the other people is because it's my birthday. That's what they say. Like, Steph Curry, when he wakes up, he's like, oh, it's my birthday. I can't believe I share a birthday with Aaron. And, you know, like, it's humbling. It, it's nice to know that he likes to share a birthday with me. So, you know, we go way back to, like, never talk. But speaking of basketball... I want to talk about, especially with uh, showing the LeBron celebrations and the other videos and stuff, I want to talk about favorite basketball players. And I think my favorite basketball player of all time is Allen Iverson. And I have no clue why. <laughs> I think it was just the way he played. Like, you know, he's shorter than everyone. He had so much swagger about him. And he, like, he pretty much carried a team to an NBA Finals. Because that team, where they have old Matumbo on the team that he took to the finals, and that was it. The rest of the guys were not really anyone that I could I could name right now. I couldn't name anyone. But Allen Iverson, that's my boy. 
I know a lot of people like Steph Curry because, dude, he's a, he's a beast right now. Just threes, 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 threes. He's been hitting threes his whole life. Hopefully you've seen that picture and you understand that reference. But we also have LeBron, who's, you know, he's, it's LeBron. He's a beast. Um, Kobe, retiring soon. That's kind of sad, man. Growing up, I was always watching Kobe and Kobe being, just being Kobe, you know. No one it's still, I think everyone still yells if they want to shoot something. They don't yell Curry. They still yell Kobe because that's what it is. You just, <laughs> you throw up shots and you yell Kobe. That's, that's how it is. Um, you know, NJ's a beast. He's probably my second favorite. Um, I don't know. I think my dad's favorite player is um, Julius Irving. Uh, you know, just a lot of... A lot of, there's a lot of basketball that's been played. If you think about how many players have played in the NBA, I don't know. Actually, I think the best player of all time is uh, Scalabrini. He's probably the greatest player ever. And, uh, you know, there's, there's really no argument to that. If you don't agree with it, you're wrong. Like I said, opinions. It's not an opinion. That's just a fact. So, you're wrong. <laughs> um, just being hypocritical. That's, that's fun, right? Yeah, uh, and I guess we'll talk about video games since I'm playing one, and it's what I do. I, I talk about things and play video games, but um, I think I'm really looking forward to when the new Mass Effect comes out. It's my all-time favorite game series of all time. Like all-time favorite game series of all time. That's yeah, that that sounds right. Um, but. Look at this, I came out all my streaks. I, know, I hate, I've never used the dart before, and after this game, I never used it again because I hate the dart. It's terrible. Um, for me, at least, because I suck. But, ooh, look at that, dodging bullets. And then I just, uh, but I, I can't wait for Mass Effect Andromeda to come out because I'm so hyped to play it. I'm, I kind of want to make a series on it just because, well, although it's not going to come out for a while, but. I love the Mass Effect game series. I can't wait to see where they go with it. Although the ending of Mass Effect 3, terrible. And me using the dart, terrible. Um, <laughs> but I guess that's one of my favorite game series. And man, my laughs are just being sick and laughing for me. Like a little chuckle just doesn't sound right. Just feels weird. Um, but I can't wait for that to come out. It's, I'm excited. I think it got pushed back though, which is really sad. Um, I don't know what other games are coming out really like there's probably a lot of stuff coming out that they'll get people hyped but that's the only one that I'm like really really excited about I'm looking at me trying to oh I thought I was gonna triple cap him but no we're just getting it um, and I, I want to make a video some videos on it when it comes out get a little series going um, ooh, couldn't get him couldn't get him but like I just want to know I guess down in the comments, leave what your favorite game series is, or what game you're, and what game you're most excited for. Uh, I'm looking forward to another FIFA as well. See, I can't even, I can't fly this in my life. But I'm looking forward to another FIFA as well, because I always play FIFA. Always. And uh, Call of Duty, and yeah, not really looking forward to the next one. I kind of want them to stop making them, but, you know, they make hella money on it. And I don't think it's going to happen soon. But Mass Effect, ooh, oh, see, that's some BS. I should have killed that guy behind him, too. Uh, with Mass Effect, my first entry into Mass Effect was the second game. And I played that through, and I, I loved it. I was like, oh, my gosh, I need to play this. I need to play. I was going to get the first one as soon as, like, I got done with the second one. And then I heard they were making the third, and it was coming out soon. So I was like, all right, well, let's play this third one. And so I played the second, then the third, and then the first which is a weird order to play it in, but definitely I think the second is, like, I, I love Mass Effect 2. Because at first, I was, I was in, actually I remember being in GameStop one time, before I bought Mass Effect 2, um, and I, I was with one of my friends, and he's like, oh, what is this? I was like, I don't know, that's really stupid, because, you know, there's just a bunch of, like, you know, aliens, and I'm going to say aliens, but on the front, and, like, it just didn't look, I was like, what? I don't know what this is, and I don't care, it looks dumb. And um, it wasn't until a few months later, I went in, I used to be really good friends with the guy that worked at GameStop, and um, although he went to Blockbuster, I don't remember when this was, but he, he went to Blockbuster, and then they shut down, so that was a bad move on his part. 
but um, he was a manager at GameStop, and we were really good friends because I was in there all the time. I I just go like every every other day. I would just go to GameStop to like hang out and just walk around and look at stuff because I, I I loved it. And I went in there, and I was like, "You have any games you recommend?" Because I got a little money from something. And he's like, "Yeah, do this Mass Effect game." And I was like, "All right, I'll try it out." And it I loved it. it ended up being oh, one of the. I it's still it's. I, I'll go back and I've probably beaten it four or five times because it's just you know there's always something different going through you can different people survive you do different missions like I, I don't know like maybe some people don't see the replay value in it but I mean it, it just I really enjoyed the game and it really went along with like how the sort of game I like to play and I don't know it just fits my I, I don't know how to explain it but you understand what I'm saying YOLO. I don't know why I just said YOLO. Uh, I think I go on a pretty nice run here. Most of these games, you don't see me getting a lot of kills because I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a killer. I mean, I want to be friends with everybody. I want to shoot. I well, it feels like <laughs> it feels like I'm shooting rubber pellets at some of these guys because I'll put in hella bullets into them and just mm, that can't get kills. Uh, yeah, we're getting towards the end of the gameplay here. I get a little bit of a run going on. Um, I don't know. So if you have any games that you like super excited for and you can't wait, uh, if you're also excited for Mass Effect, let me know. Leave it in the comments section. Just tell me, tell me what's what's going through your mind. You know, we can we can bond over this. We can bond over video games because that's what we're doing. I get fourth place, sadly can't ever get first it's so elusive to me like the elusive man mass effect reference haha <laughs> boom uh and that's how the game ends you know i i did 22 and 10 we win and that's a wrap so until next time peace out